Hi everybody, Carissa here with Inky Fairy Designs for Faber Castell Design Memory Craft. And today I'm making this mixed media home decor piece using an embroidery hoop and I want to show you how I did that. So I pulled out this embroidery hoop. It's a four inch hoop and some gelatos colors as well as some of my big stampers brush pit pens, which I love using for stamping, as well as one of the daubers to add some texture uh, when I bring in the texture lux in silver. I will have the exact colors listed on the Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft blog, so be sure to look there for a full supply list. So let's get started. I'm using some muslin, and you can see it's totally wrinkled. I don't bother with ironing. Um, I use the inside hoop to trace the circle so I know where to put my paint and images. I'm starting with a light coat of gesso. I only do a light coat, one light coat, and that gives me enough tooth and surface to add all of the other mediums on top. So I can go in around, I'm going a little bit over the pencil drawn line, um, but I can still see where that is so that I know where to put all of my stamping and color and everything else. So the gelatos colors that I'm using today come from the fist. 50s diner collection and I am using a acrylic block to scribble on some color. This is one of my favorite ways to put gelato's colors on my surface, whatever surface I'm using. I'm going to spritz it with a little bit of water and kind of blend it in with my fingers just to get those colors um, activated with the water and kind of moving and blending already. And then I'm going to turn that over and just like I would use that um, to stamp an image, I'm basically stamping that color onto my surface. and. I'm doing it one more time without adding any more water because I wanted to darken up the pigment a little bit. I will tell you that um, my gesso wasn't completely dry, so I think that's why I wasn't getting um, the color deepness that I wanted. Um, I just didn't dry my gesso uh, long enough. I did um, use a heat tool. but. Regardless, I can go back in and now I'm just coloring directly from the gelatos onto my surface and kind of blending it in with my fingers because it is still wet and my gesso is still a little bit wet. It's blending really nicely. So I finally got the amount of color I wanted on there. I'm taking um, a stencil from, I think it was the Stencils 101, and I'm using this technique with the with a baby wipe and um, just picking up some of that color from the gelatos and then I'm pulling it into my surface and I'm going for like a tone on tone texture here so it's not going to be um, very uh, in your face it's going to be very subtle but you can still see that pattern from the stencil when I lift it up using this technique going in tone on tone so I'm using the same color um, that's already down there and just kind of adding a little bit more and it'll darken it up in a little bit of areas and I'll have that little bit of texture left behind on my surface. So this is a really great way. I, I love using um, baby wipes with my gelatos and stencils. It's just a really cool way to get the color through. So now I'm getting ready to stamp my image and I'm using the um, Big Stampers brush pen in black. And I love these pens because they are permanent once they're dry, so it's great for mixed media. They are also light fast, and um, <clears throat> um, they have they are India ink, so really good for all of your art projects, mixed media, cards. Uh, let's see, uh, scrapbook pages, you know, because it has that archival quality. So it's a really great product and I love using it to stamp my images because it's got like a brush tip and I can just really get into a large area like this stamp is a little bit on the large side. So I'm just pushing that down with my fingers and then I decided to pull in my block and kind of give myself a little bit more of a surface to push down and you can see that because of the texture of the muslin it didn't give me um, such a clear stamped image but um, one of the great things is I can use the big or the pit pens and I have the size small in black it matches perfectly because it's the same color and I can go in and I can redraw 
all of those lines on my stamped image and they are there enough that I can see and I'm basically just tracing and even if my hands are a little shaky or I don't get the line quite on top it I, I think it really adds to um, kind of your own personal touch on your piece so really easy to go in and just put all of those lines back in and um, I, you know I kind of just go a little bit slow and follow it around move my um, surface around as I need to and then I finish up with that and I will get started on the next step so there you go see all perfect now so easy to do and then I just gave her a little shoulder kind of wonky there but I'm gonna add a little bit more texture I'm taking um, I think it's the cold gray uh, big stampers brush pen and I'm adding that on these flowers and I thought that would just give a little bit of a back more background to my um, piece that I'm working on and so I just stamp it I'm not even using a block this time and stamped it once and twice so you can see you can get multiple images from that pen and um, it's really cool to get like a shadow image and that one I didn't bother fixing or filling in because I really wanted just that texture now I'm going in with the white big stampers brush pen and adding a little bit of a highlight around the image and also I will um, bring in a couple highlights in her hair and her face and her lips and I really like this pen because um, it dries to a really kind of opaque finish um, when it's going on it doesn't look like a whole lot of white is going on but it dries to a nice opaque finish and I really like that so <clears throat> And now I'm just going in and adding, um, cause, because it is opaque and I do like that, um, I had to go in and add some of those lines back in. So I'm just using that same size small um, pit pen to draw wherever I got that white over um, my image. So I'm just kind of redrawing in just a few of those lines, not too many were affected by that. So now I'm going to bring in some texture. I'm using the uh, dauber, the Faber-Castell dauber, and um, pulling some of that <clears throat> texture uh, Lux in silver and just creating some polka dots around my surface. And um, just kind of daubing it or just pushing it down. It gives you a really cool circle. So easy to do. Great to add texture uh, on your surfaces. And I love the look of the texture lux. So you can see here up close that shimmer it has. It's just so pretty. And it looked really good with these colors that I used. So now I'm ready to kind of assemble my embroidery hoop. I want to add some um, words or like a sentiment onto this piece. And I thought before I did that, I wanted to make sure um, I had the placement, like where I wanted. Um, everything to fit in the embroidery hoop. So I'm just adding that. It's really easy to do. The muslin works great uh, with the embroidery hoops. So I've got it all trimmed and nice and ready to go. I pulled out some gel medium and I cut apart a, a sticker that I had uh, with a saying that says, I hope I can, I think I can, I know I can. And then I also, um, from that same sticker collection, there was one word that said believe and so I wanted this to kind of be a reminder for myself to believe in myself to have hope that I can and then think that I can and then know that I can do anything and I think that's fitting for the new year to have something inspiring and to lift you up and um, just something to make you smile or keep you going when you might feel a little bit down or uninspired so <laughs> I don't know I just thought it would be fun to make something like that to have in my craft room so I'm using the gel medium it is a sticker but I like to use gel medium with any of my stickers that I'm using on my um, mixed media because there's so much texture on there usually by the time I get to this point in a piece and the gel medium just works um, to really kind of embed it 
uh, better into the surface and I know it's not going to go anywhere. I know it's not going to start peeling off and I put it on the back of the sticker on my surface and then I put another coat on top. So those stickers are stuck down. They're not going anywhere. I know this is going to last a really long time. So I really like how it's coming out. I'm really happy with it at this point. I felt that I needed to do something to tie in the hoop into my overall piece. So I brought out the um, dauber again and the texture lux and I'm adding just polka dots around the hoop. It was the perfect size. They're not complete circles but they're enough of a circle that you can see that it's a polka dot and it ties it really in to the texture that I gave to my piece. So I think it just adds something extra to whenever you have something that's framed or like a shadow box or something that has that little bit on the side. I just like to do something to make it blend into the overall piece. So when it's hanging on the wall or wherever it is, it looks like it wasn't forgotten. So that's really it for this piece. I hope you uh, were inspired and enjoyed seeing this come together as much as I did putting it together. Be sure to check out the Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft Blog for a full list of supplies that I used today on this piece. Here are some close-ups. You can see all of that texture and all of the layers. One thing I did do after I turned the camera off was I did add some shading around each of the uh, words or the sentiment just to kind of blend it more into the background. And I just used the Big Stampers brush pen um, in the cold gray to do that. So thank you again so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that I know you want to see more videos like this. And be sure to check out the Design Memory Craft Faber Castell blog and Facebook page for more inspiration. I will see you next time. Bye.